Hello everyone, welcome to 21st lecture of microcontroller course. So in this lecture, I am going to explain about the operation of uh, one more category of microcontroller that is PIC microcontroller. So PIC microcontroller as like 8051 family. So PIC microcontroller is also another type of microcontrollers. So but this microcontroller is completely dedicated for the interfacing of peripheral devices therefore we can define PIC as a peripheral interface controller device so different class of PIC microcontrollers are there but those are <coughs> classified or overviewed with the four major families so here is a classification or a overview of uh, PIC microcontroller that is the first family so first family is uh, defined with the PIC 10F XX here you can define the part numbers so it may be varies from 100 or 250 some different uh, different uh, part numbers you will get so those based on part number so we will classify this as a family so first generation or you may call it as a first family of PIC microcontroller so those PIC microcontrollers PIC 10F XXX family or 8-bit microcontrollers or 8-bit static it has a flash based ALU and uh, some registers are there and uh, it is a RISC architecture that is a reduced instruction set architecture microcontroller and it is easy to program and low cost and high performance but second family so pick 12 f triple x so x may be part number will be vary so it is a 14 bit program word so program word is 18 bit and so multiple analog to digital and ep rom features are there and it is easy to program because if the multiple A to D and features are more then it is easy to program it is also risk based microcontroller and it is versatile that means it is very generous you can apply this PIC microcontroller to any applications uh, in embedded system a wide range of peripherals as I told because of its versatility it has a wide range of peripheral interface could be possible with a serial communication USART and LCD, A to D and etc. And another more feature <coughs> that is third family PIC16 XXX more popular PIC microcontroller so we are using in many minor projects uh, that is uh, 3.5 to 14k flash is exist there and a 14 period uh, 14 pin variant uh, uh, power supplies and uh, it is also a risk architecture and it includes USART that is extendable serial communication is possible synchronous serial communication universal synchronous and a synchronous receiver and transmitter mode and CCD mode and CCP mode and onboard comparators are exist there so the third generation or third family uh, PIC microcontroller that is PIC 16 F series will discuss in the next classes and a fourth family that is fourth family is a 16 bit programmable it is a 17 to 18 F triple X it is used for only an advanced applications it is a 16 bit uh, PIC microcontroller that is 16 bit program word so program word is 16 bit so therefore it is a 14 uh, 16 bit microcontroller and advanced risk architecture as I told so it has uh, architecture is very complex and more advanced a uh, multiple instruction handlers because until 8 bit microcontroller that is pick family it has only a single uh, instructions but it has some multiple instruction handlers 
and 32 level up stack and 16 million instructions per second that is speed of execution is 16 million instruction per second so this is for advanced applications so in this lecture we are discussing only the 8 bit family 8 bit microcontroller family with uh, that is third family that is fix 16 family we are going to discuss so <coughs> the third family that is uh, pick uh, 16 f8 77 7. so this is one of the third family of uh, a big microcontroller so it has the following features that is 35 single word instruction because this is a risk but compared to our 8051 it has only a 35 single word instruction if you are thorough with this 35 instruction single word instruction we can able to write any program and it has 8k flash rom 256 byte of ep rom and 14 interrupt sources and 5 IO ports and watchdog timer so this is a special type of timer used in PIC microcontroller and it is more useful for uh, designing of uh, timers and some embedded systems like ATM machines and uh, 3 timers and counters are there and usart for serial communication and operating frequency is up to 20 megahertz so these are common features but core features are there that means we are extending some more part of the features those features we may call it as a core features of 16 uh, pic 16 so pic 16 that is accumulator dependent hardware architecture that means so this pic microcontroller is depends upon the accumulator because only few instructions are there only 35 instruction therefore it depends upon the accumulator and three addressing modes are usable in uh, pic microcontroller that is direct indirect and relative addressing modes and uh, as i told that three timers are there so among those three timers timer 0 and timer 2 are 8 bit timers and timer 1 is only one 16 bit timer so these timers can be configured depends upon the user's program and two PWM uh, modules are there pulse width modulators so these are also very significant for the peripheral applications IO operations in PIC microcontroller 10 bit 8 channel ADC and synchronous serial port is there that is usart and only a 35 instruction what we are explained in the last feature and power saving and sleep mode applications are its core features and what is the advantages of pic microcontroller so advantages and disadvantages of pic microcontroller so microcontroller that is pic microcontroller has a uh, few advantages those are easy to program so as we know that it is a risk processor that means only a 35 instruction is there therefore if you are thorough with 35 instruction we can able to write the program very easily therefore it is easy to program and less power consumption because it doesn't have uh, on chip memory or a few things are not exist inside the chip pick microcontroller therefore it is easy to program as well as easy uh, it has a uh, fast communication only few buses are there and a uh, few peripheral interfaces are there apart from that flash memory every memory things are excluded from the inside the chip of my controller and it is easy to interface with the peripherals as i told interface structure is there architecture is there inside the pic microcontroller therefore it is easy to connect pic microcontroller without uh, using any driver circuit and all therefore it is easy to interface a major disadvantages what i told uh, because of less instructions 
we need to write any program its program's length will become more because uh, repeated instructions we need to use same instructions will be used repeatedly therefore the program length will goes to be high and the same reason this is due to risk processor architecture and it is complex to assess the program memory as i told that <coughs> it is accumulator dependent if accumulator is dependent or it is performing any operation so during that certain operation we can't able to uh, at the same time parallelly we can't able to assess the code memory therefore this is a one of the major drawback of pic microcontroller and uh, now we are <coughs> moving towards the pin configuration of 8051 microcontroller that is a pic microcontroller so pic microcontroller is a 40 pin package so 40 pin package so these 40 pins are split up into a four different uh, that is five different uh, ports because this is peripheral interface therefore ports is uh, plays a very major role in io communication so therefore uh, i will split up this into five ports that is port a pins from 1 to pin number 7 so these are uh, we may call it as a port a so i am specifying these pins with the ra0 ra1 ra2 ra3 ra4 and another port b from 33 to 40 or port b and port c that is uh, port c is split up in the right side and left side that is pin number 15 to 18 or port c and uh, pin number 31 to pin number 28 or uh, no so 27 to pin number 25 or port c and port d so port d from uh, pin number 1920 and pin number 31 to that is pin number uh, 28 to 31 belongs to port d and port e that is uh, pin number 8 to pin number 10 belongs to port e so all these ports are completely dedicated to communicate with io devices so let us discuss about uh, ports so what are the major roles of the port a port a is a six bit bidirectional pin it is analog inputs can be transferred to the pic microcontroller therefore we can connect analog inputs to port a and port e port b this is 8 bit directional port bidirectional port that means communicate with a, uh, it will access the input and output and it is general purpose io pins that means general purpose uh, input and outputs can be connected to the port b and internal pull up registers to save the components and computations in the sum design that means it has it is completely dedicated for io operations because it has internal pull up registers therefore this is a one of the advantages of the port b and it also receives the hardware interrupt hardware interrupt can be connected to the port b and port c it is 8 bit bidirectional a18 for serial communication uh, serial uh, communication or serial io function that means serial communications are uh, we are going to do through this port c and port d port d is also bidirectional 8 bit bidirectional port for data communication and digital io that means the data lines are connected to the port d so if you want to transfer any binary data through the data lines so the data lines are available in port d and also some digital ios are also connected to port d and port e is three bit bidirectional port and this is for general io port and it also controls the port d 
that means this is also related to port D that means the control lines this is connected to the data line but the control lines are connected to the port E so these are this is <coughs> the pin configuration of uh, PIC microcontroller